SoFi is an incredible banking tool that also has investing features, while Wealthfront is an investing tool that also has banking features. So which one is the best one-stop shop for your finances? Well, today, let's find out. All right, let's jump right into it. So obviously, we talk about a lot of financial platforms here on the channel, and many of you know that for banking, I currently use SoFi, and for investing, I personally am using Wealthfront. And that's led a lot of you to ask why I don't use SoFi's investing tools more in depth, or why I don't use Wealthfront's cash management feature. And these are all fantastic questions, especially considering I always talk about how nice it is to have all of your financial tools under one platform. So let's take a look at the big picture here and figure out whether SoFi or Wealthfront is the better option for you if you do want to have all of your financial tools under one app. If you've spent any amount of time on my channel, then you probably know a good amount about SoFi, and I have made a ton of videos on this platform, so if you want an in-depth look at any of the tools that they offer, then I will leave links to all of that down in the description below, including a step-by-step -step guide. But in a nutshell, the core feature of SoFi is their SoFi money account, which gives you the ability to get paid up to two days early pays a decent 0.25% interest rate, which is all right currently, but definitely not the best. But they also have no fee overdraft coverage, a generous welcome bonus, which you can get by using the first link in the description below, access to their network of over 55,000 free to use ATMs, no fees across the board, and in my opinion, one of the best designed mobile apps when it comes to financial technology. So while SoFi was technically started as a student loan lender, and that absolutely still is a large part of their business, in my eyes at least, I view SoFi Money as their core platform. However, what you may also know is that SoFi has their very own investing tool as well. And that's why I would put them in the category of a banking tool that also has investing features. But as we've talked about before, the investing platform on SoFi is a little bit limited, so let's break that down. With SoFi Invest, you've got a number of different account options, including active investing accounts, where you can trade stocks and ETFs with no commitment missions, and even participate in initial public offerings, but they also have automated investing options where SoFi will create a diversified portfolio for you, as well as retirement options with traditional Roth and SEP IRAs, and even crypto investing options for those of us that want to purchase Bitcoin or Ethereum, Cardano, or 17 other cryptos that they currently offer. Again, the investing portion of the app is right under the exact same application as your SoFi money accounts and all of the other tools that they offer and it is incredibly well designed across the board. And that is really why I love this platform so much. And the investing tool will also give you a free stock when you sign up. So again, link in the description. Now, SoFi offers a wide variety of individual stocks, ETFs, and even their own ETFs created by SoFi. And for the average investor who's just getting started, that should be plenty to get started. However, if you're looking to actively trade assets, then this is definitely not the platform for you because trading times can take take a little bit longer when compared to something like TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim platform, which is really designed for day traders and swing traders. And SoFi is definitely somewhat limited in terms of what individual stocks are being offered, although they have improved this drastically over the past year or so. The automated investing feature is also fantastic, and while I personally have limited experience with this since I do use Wealthfront, it works in a very similar way where they are basically going to ask you your risk tolerance, your investing goals, and then from there, it's automatically going to rebalance your portfolio and create that diversified portfolio for you. But again, still kind of limited in the sense that there's no traditional index funds or mutual funds, and they only currently have ETFs, although ETFs are a very similar form of investment. All right, so we'll talk more about some of the other advantages of the overall SoFi platform in a second. But first, let's talk about Wealthfront. Similar to SoFi, I have made a number of videos on the Wealthfront platform, including a brand new video where I walk you through every single menu step by step. So be sure to check that out if you want to give this platform a shot. And again, I'll leave my link in the description below where you can sign up and get your first $5,000 of investments managed for completely free. But in a nutshell, Wealthfront really made a name for themselves by offering one of the easiest to use automated investing platforms. And similar to SoFi's automated investing platform and some other competitors that are on the markets, they're going to ask you your risk tolerance, what your financial and investing goals are. And from there, Wealthfront is going to build 
build a custom portfolio for you made up of a ton of different asset classes like U.S. stocks, foreign stocks, emerging markets, dividend stocks, municipal bonds, REITs, TIPS, and several other asset classes. And they're also going to use really smart and advanced investing strategies that would be incredibly difficult for you to replicate on your own unless you are really into investing and have a lot of time on your hands, including things like rebalancing, which SoFi does offer, but even tax loss harvesting, which will strategically sell off certain assets that are at a loss in order to reduce the taxes that you owe on your profits. That probably sounded really confusing, and it definitely can be, but again, Wealthfront does all of that for you, so you really don't have to worry about anything. They also have socially responsible portfolio options, which I absolutely love, and this can help you ensure that your investments align with your own morals and ethical values, which is a really unique feature that very few companies are offering. Now, the big difference here is that Wealthfront does charge a 0.25% annual management fee, so if you had $1,000 invested with Wealthfront, for example, then you would pay about $25 per year for their service. And that's definitely a bummer for some new investors, but if you use the link in the description, you get $5,000 managed for free. Number two, 96% of their clients actually get that entire management fee paid for by the tax loss harvesting strategies that Wealthfront is using. And number three, if you went out and hired a financial advisor, they would probably charge you a lot more than 0.25% as a management fee. So just some things to keep in mind. So Wealthfront definitely put themselves on the map on the investing side of things, but they now offer a really great cash management account option as well with no account fees or overdraft or anything like that pays an all right 0.1% APY which is not that great but they do give you access to 19,000 free use ATMs and the ability to make your everyday purchases pay bills deposit checks with up to 1 million dollars in FDIC insurance through their cash management card so the cash management account is all right and if you really love wealthfront for investing and you do want to have everything under one platform, then this will definitely do the trick. But now let's take all of the information that I just threw at you and compare these two platforms to each other to identify those key differences that you want to keep in mind when making your decision. So first of all, on the banking side of things or cash management, I would definitely give this category to SoFi. They pay a much higher interest rate. The app is much easier to use and intuitive in my opinion. They give you a ton of cashback benefits and warranty protections. Plus they have the integrated SoFi relay platform Form, which I didn't even mention earlier. And this is essentially the free integrated budgeting tool from SoFi that I absolutely love and beats out some of the best paid budgeting platforms that I have used in the past. Now, Wealthfront's cash management tool definitely gives you some spending data and income information, but in terms of creating a budget and creating savings vaults and setting money aside for different financial goals, SoFi Money and SoFi Relay definitely win that battle. Now, on the investing side of things, it definitely falls into more of a gray area. First of all, I want to be clear that with Wealthfront, there is no way to purchase individual stocks or anything like that. It is solely meant for automated investing, at least for the time being, and it does not allow you to buy individual stocks like Apple, Facebook, Tesla, or anything like that. So if you wanted to do that, then Wealthfront is not the platform for you. Now, one thing I didn't mention earlier is Wealthfront does have a new crypto feature as well, where you can actually make Bitcoin or Ethereum ETFs part of your automated investment portfolio and I have made videos on that exact topic if you are curious about that new feature but again with Wealthfront there is no way to individually buy Bitcoin or Ethereum or any other crypto for that matter so obviously for me personally I have decided to go with Wealthfront on the investing side of things because I have very little interest in buying individual stocks and if I want to well then I have the SoFi invest account and I can go ahead and do that but for a majority of my long-term retirement investing including my own Roth IRA and my business's SEP IRA, I absolutely love Wealthfront and I love the fact that I can just set up an automatic transfer. It has a custom catered portfolio that in my opinion is much more robust and optimized when compared to SoFi's automated portfolio. Plus I can say that for me personally, the small fee that Wealthfront charges has been more than paid for by the insane amount that they have saved me with the tax loss harvesting strategies. Not to mention the fact that my automated Wealthfront portfolio meaning my Roth IRA, has averaged a 17% annual return since I started using the service a few years ago. So the investing question with this one is definitely a toss-up, and it really all comes down to what you are trying to do with your investing. If you want to buy individual stocks and cryptocurrencies, then obviously SoFi is the better choice, and that absolutely
absolutely will get the job done. And like I said, I do still occasionally buy individual stocks on SoFi every now and then. But if you're looking for a set it and forget it approach to your overall investing, and you just want to put money into an account and have it invested for you, then Wealthfront is by far going to be the better tool in my opinion. Now, zooming out to the whole picture, if I had to decide between these two platforms and I was only able to use one for my all around financial tool, then no surprise, I would personally go with SoFi. No, their investing platform might not be as robust as something like Fidelity or TD Ameritrade, but it will definitely get the job done. Plus, SoFi Relay is unmatched in the market, especially considering it's completely free, not to mention that they have their own credit card, crypto investing, automated investing, retirement investing, and the entire SoFi borrow program. And in general, SoFi is just an awesome company that is really taking the financial technology industry by storm right now. So yes, I stand by my constant statement that having all of your financial tools under one platform is fantastic. And for the most part, that is true for me too, because I do use the SoFi Relay platform and have all of my accounts linked together. But considering I review financial products for a living, obviously I'm going to have a ton of different accounts opened. And as a result, that's why I've decided, at least for the time being, that Wealthfront is going to be the best option for my long-term automated investing plan. Again, if you want to give SoFi money or SoFi invest a shot, I will leave links in the description below where you can sign up and get some free cash, as well as a link to Wealthfront where you can sign up and get your first $5,000 of investments managed for completely free. And again, I know that we moved through all of this information really quickly, so if you do want an in-depth look at either of these platforms, then I will leave links in the description below where you can look at all of the different videos that I've made on both SoFi and Wealthfront. As always, if you did get value out of this content and you want to help support me, the easiest way to do that is actually by checking out some of my favorite financial tools down in the description below, including one offer from the Point Cashback debit card that will currently give you $100 when you open your account and make your first purchase, so definitely check that out using the link down below. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. And of course, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it so much. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.